Today I'm going to walk you through how I made this macro pad. This macro pad has nine function buttons, has the ability to do four layouts, uh, as well as a rotary encoder. So what's inside this thing? It's really not that much. We've got buttons, of course, to do the, the button thing. We've got a rotary encoder to do the volume and also the play pause thing, as well as a Team TLC driving the whole thing. These buttons, I got them online. They're for pack of like 20 for like 10 bucks. They're just knockoff brown switches. You can use whatever you'd like. We've got a rotary encoder. This is one I got online. It's got a little click function, so you can use it as a button and a rotary encoder. It works. And finally, like I said, driving the whole thing, Team TLC. It's definitely overpowered for what I'm using it for, but it works great. Here is my little test circuit. So we've got our TCLC over there. We've got our LEDs that signal which layout are on. I've got four set up now, but you could, in theory, add a few more. Um, one button cycles through the layouts. The other button in this test circuit is just like one of the function buttons. Right now, it just turns the LED on and off when you press the button. Here is the case. Uh, I 3D printed a case. I think this is really a, a fun spot where you can kind of go crazy with how you want to lay it out. I'm not using a circuit board. Everything's just hand wired. So you could redesign the case to do whatever you want. For my layout, I've got nine butts at the bottom, one up at the top for the function cycle, the four LEDs slots up there, as well as a hole for the rotary encoder. As we put this thing together, there were a few main goals I wanted for this project. One of them was to avoid multiplexing, and by using the Team CLC, I was able to do that because it has enough pins for all the buttons, LEDs, and the rotary encoder. So that's great. And I also wanted it to be easily programmable, which I kind of achieved. You do have to go through the Arduino IDE, which is not the most convenient, but it works. So here I've got those buttons in position. And next, I will go ahead and put the LEDs in place. I did do a bad job with measurement, so the holes are a little bit too big. So I just dropped them in place, put a little dot of hot glue on the back, and they've been fine so far. Up next, solder everything together. So inside, here's everything soldered together. Uh, you can tell time has passed because my nails are no longer painted. We've got everything soldered in place and flipped in. We've got our Team CLC uh, wired to everything. I've tested it at least once to make sure everything is working. The case here, I did just put a notch in the back to run the cord out so it looks cleaner. It's going to have a plug on the back and everything. Um, and it just is a press fit together. But that's basically everything. Let's see it in action. Just kidding, that's not everything. We still have to write code. The code is kind of lengthy, but I think it's pretty simple. Just check the button press, check the layout, send the function that we have programmed. The end. The worst part of this project was the length of testing and updating. The testing and updating has taken a while. So these two chunks of video were filmed probably about four months apart. Um, I've been using this basically daily since then and making small little tweaks to the software to get everything working properly. One button up there, it just cycled through the layouts. I've got four, but you theoretically could do more. The single biggest improvement I would make on this design as is, is some little rubber feet because it does tend to slide around on the desk. Thanks for watching.